is hell in make-believe. Three times each year at Eglin Air Force Base, Florida, the United States Air Force demonstrates the effectiveness of its firepower. The tremendous growth of our newest armed service is dramatically underscored when the new is compared with the old. From the early World War I days, when aircraft played primarily an observation role, control of the skies has become a primary objective of any conflict. Air striking power grew to its full potential as commanders realized the power inherent in these craft high at their vantage points in the sky. At the start of World War II, the whole concept of war had to be revised, and the devastating power available through the air was used to strike faster and harder than ever was possible before. Bombers rained death and destruction from the skies. Fighters dueled in combat high in the blue, as designers and manufacturers became more and more adept at creating new birds of war. Eglin Air Force Base is located in northwest Florida a place where new aerial machines of war can be tested without interference. The firepower demonstrations show the precision capabilities of aircraft, such as this North American F-100 Super Sabre fighter bomber. The F-100 was the first operational plane to fly faster than sound in level flight and has been America's first line fighter since 1953. The Super Sabre is capable of spanning oceans and continents, armed with rockets, missiles, cannon, nuclear bombs, and even hydrogen weapons. For every pilot, there is a host of other skilled men backing him up. Mechanics, armorers, radar men, engineers, and others. Experts in their field. Here on what is known as the hotline at Eglin, under constant safety and security surveillance, aircraft are serviced and loaded with hot ammunition. Bombs, rockets, napalm, and 20 millimeter cannon belts. Each man knows the importance of his job, for any aircraft leaving this line is combat ready. Fighter bombers of today's Air Force, like the Super Sabre, can carry up to 7,000 pounds of bombs or other ordnance in addition to their four 20 millimeter cannon. firepower demonstration is witnessed by several thousand selected guests who arrive in caravan early in the day. For the big day, the Air Force flies in other citizens from all over the nation. Especially invited by the Air Force and the Department of Defense, you are invited to see that show by means of this film. In addition to 32 gunnery ranges, the Eglin Reservation contains 10 auxiliary fields and a main base, a total of 800 square miles or half a million acres. The range used as a site for the demonstration has several mock targets, railroad yards, airfields, gun batteries, and factory areas to give realism to the simulated attacks. A central tower controls all of the aircraft in the demonstration, at least one of every type in the Air Force current inventory. Prior to the actual demonstration, the visitors get a chance to view static displays of some of the ordnance and equipment they will see in action later. 
Displays such as these drive home the fact that our country is not content with quantity alone. Quality air power is necessary to defend our country and other free nations from any aggressor threatening the freedoms in which we believe. It is in this quest for top quality that the Air Proving Ground Center plays the vital role. Living up to the slogan, proof by test, this base provides unbiased quality control for every type of equipment and ordnance destined to become a part of the United States Air Force inventory. Each demonstration opens with a tribute to the men in and behind the aircraft given by the commander, Air Proving Ground Center. Jet aircraft presaged a new era in aerial warfare, and jets like these made history over Korea. Then the Century Series brought the supersonic era, the era of the Mockbuster. Bombers didn't stand still either. The Boeing B-52, largest operational jet bomber of the day, puts on a startling demonstration of muscle flexing. And with its long range, proves that no area of the world is out of reach of the might and power of the USAF. Incidentally, the Air Proving Ground Center doesn't confine its tests to this one area in Florida. Detachments of this command have gone to the Far East, Middle East, Africa, and Europe. The world has been made smaller by aerial refueling techniques. The spanning of oceans and continents by sleek jet fighters has been made possible by aerial gas stations such as this KB-50 shown refueling jet fighters. Bombers too may be refueled by the tanker planes, extending their already considerable range and saving time-consuming landings and takeoffs. Now you've seen the planes and equipment that have kept America on top in the struggle for aerial supremacy. Here's what they can do, hell in make-believe. Republic F-84 high-speed photographic planes. F-100 Super Sabre makes a sonic boom. B-47 bombers mass flyby. Rockets from Air Defense Command fighters. Rockets and bombs from bombers. Twenty millimeter cannon and an F one hundred. F-86s and napalm. An F-100 with napalm. F-100 with rockets, napalm and cannon. and 14 rockets at once. An outstanding example. One Convair B-36 drops its load of bombs, laying an explosive train for almost two miles. bombing. Not from a fighter, but this time from a B-47. And it's a simulated atomic bomb.
are the Thunderbirds. Flying North American Aviation F-100C Super Sabres, the Thunderbirds are the official Jet Precision Aerial Demonstration Team of the United States Air Force. Performing here at the Firepower Demonstration and hundreds of other special events throughout North and South America, they vividly show pilot ability and aircraft performance to perfection. Precision flying is a necessity in the Air Force of today for maximum effectiveness of the air weapon. A few hundred feet off the ground, the solo man of the team rolls his 13 tons of aircraft with a split-second timing and ease of a diving champion. Four aircraft with four pilots perform as if one hand and mind were responsible for the controls. This is precision teamwork at its best. The Thunderbirds have performed for over 19 million persons since they started in 1953, and at demonstrations such as this, the public gets a chance to observe three important capabilities of the Air Force. One, the ultimate in precision flying. Two, the speed and maneuverability of a first-line supersonic jet fighter and three, the close coordination necessary in actual fighter tactics as demonstrated in the thrilling finale of the Thunderbird show, the spectacular bomb burst. With the best equipped and fastest type aircraft, with precision trained pilots and technically trained personnel, with mighty bombers capable of fast and heavy strikes at any target anywhere in the world, America will always be ready. Ready to protect the free countries of the world. This proof by test you have just seen, and all those which follow as technology advances, make it certain. This is the duty of the Air Proving Ground Center of the Air Research and Development Command.